You said that uh, the, in the press briefing uh, that you had that, you know, South Africans are begging for clarity um, on the way forward and uh, the lockdown. Which South Africans are you speaking for and which conversation are, conversations are you having and with whom and where? Well, I'm having conversations with South Africans who are frankly fed up with the lack of which information they receive from government. Yeah, which ones and uh, where are you Would you like having... me to provide you with a list of uh, them? That would I mean, be great, what are yeah. you asking? Yeah, I'm asking where are you having these... Com- which thousands of South Africans are you speaking media, to? On social media, I host a twice weekly show uh, yeah. called Corona Cost. You should tune in sometime. I will. And uh, we have interactions with lots and lots of citizens who send through their queries. I receive a lot of correspondence as a leader of the opposition uh, from citizens who are fed up. So you're talking, uh, so you're talking for those people that like you're children. interacting with, not necessarily all of South Africans, because what you've said is that well, how South, Africans are, South Africans are begging for clarity. I'd need to know which South Africans... Sir, please let me speak. Sir, please let me speak. I mean, I've respected you. Provide you. With a list. You've, which asked, South Africans is you've said that you're speaking to, to South, South Africans. Africans. I'd like to know which South Africans you're speaking to, sir. Well, would you like a list? I mean, if you ask the if president... If you can do that, that would be great, speak. because if you're speaking for the majority of yeah. South Africans, then I'd like to know that you're speaking for the majority of South Africans. When you say us, we, South Africans, who are you speaking to? What we're saying. Like you're if for I, the president. If so I look, if I look at social media, media, a lot of people are saying that there should be lockdown regulations to protect well, a lot uh, of South people Africans. Are saying they're not. A lot of people are saying. A lot of people are saying that they're not. But they're hence, I'm time asking who you're like interacting with. By government that's making decisions that have absolutely no basis uh, in, in both a health perspective and a rationality perspective. But I'm very glad the president's got you in his corner because um, he's obviously been speaking to you. <laughs> All right. I, I, I'm, I'm not going to get a rational conversation here. But thank you very much for giving us your time. There. That's a dear leader, ra- John Steen Hayes, and joining us uh, on the line there. Uh, thank you very much, sir. We appreciate your time. Have a good day. All right, that's uh, the DA leader, John Stienhazen, uh, talking to us there about the DA challenging what it calls irrational lockdown.